everybody, this is Lori at craftyourhappy.com. I also create SVG cutting files for my website craftsyoucut.com and I also have an Etsy shop where I sell my files as well. So when I first started creating cutting files, I created them for me. I was creating wood signs and using the vinyl as a stencil and I had no use for anything other than just a stencil product. Um, so I didn't realize that other types of applications such as heat transfer vinyl would require this, the design to have to be ungrouped when they pull it into Silhouette Studio. And uh, so I've had some requests and usually what I do is I just go in and fix the file because I know what I'm doing now. But um, if you run into this again, maybe it's not a file from me, maybe it's a file from another designer, maybe it's one of my old ones and, and you haven't downloaded the updated version. I just want to show you a quick way to be able to group and ungroup files on your own without having to have the original designer fix the file for you. So if you go to open and you find um, the SVG file, and I know this one is not grouped or not able to be ungrouped. Um, I, I created it this way on purpose. And this file will be a free one available at um, craftyourhappy.com in the coming weeks as we start thinking about St. Patrick's Day. Um, you'll notice that the, it's a pretty large file format. So I'm going to just go ahead and resize it real quick. I'm just going to create it to a 10 inch width and it brings it down to a size that's more manageable. So I've got my whole file selected here and I go to object and look, I can't ungroup it. So the solution to this is to go ahead and click on release compound path. All right. It's a little frightening because the insides of the L, the U, the K and the Y, and the me, the E and the me, um, are filled in now. And if I go ahead and pull that out, you'll notice that I leave parts of the design behind. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the undo button. Put them all back together. So the quick way to fix this is to hold the shift key down on your computer. Now I am on a PC. I have a Mac at work, so I am well versed in Macs, but I don't do my silhouette work on a Mac. I have to assume this is going to work the same. So you're going to go up here and you're going to hit your shift key. You're going to click the left button of your mouse and you're going to pull it down to the height of the lucky, the, the top part of the design. And then you're just going to drag it across. You're going to select all those pieces. And you can see, and you probably can't tell in the video real well, but there are some light gray boxes around the insides of the L and the U and the K and the Y. So we know that all of those pieces have been selected. Go to Object and go to Make Compound Path. And you'll notice then that we're all back together. One big happy word. And I'm going to hit Undo just because I want to put it back in the original spot. Then do the same again for the, the me. So Shift key left mouse button, hold down and drag across until you have basically just the three pieces of that design selected. Go to object, a compound path, and you'll notice that it looks back to normal again. We're not going to do anything with the shamrock because it's already been a traced file into an SVG format, so it's going to go ahead and cut OK on its own. So um, let's go ahead and select all the pieces of that file. So really there are three pieces to this file. I'm going to go ahead and go over to the send button and I'm going to say cut edge and you notice that all three of my pieces will cut. Now let's just say I just want to cut lucky and me. So I'm going to click on the shamrock and I'm going to say no cut. So it saves a place for it but I'll be able to just cut the lucky and the me and then I'll come back later on and basically do the same for the shamrock and be able to cut the outside of that when I need to. So that's just a quick way to fix something that I messed up on in the beginning. We're all learning on this process and so I'm really grateful that there is a quick fix that you guys can do without having to wait for me to go through and correct all my files. So if you have any questions, contact me at lori at craftyourhappy.com or lori at craftsyoucut.com and I hope you'll check out my blog for the free SVG cutting files that I offer on there frequently and also check out craftsyoucut.com for my latest designs.